Lift up the trumpet and loud let it ring. Jesus is coming again. Cheer up your pilgrims, be joyful and sing. Jesus is coming again. Titus chapter 2 and verse 13 says, Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the 15th edition of the program for 2024. And the 168th since our inception in 2021. This is the Blessed Hope Review Program. This is where we discuss end time events as they are found in the Bible and the Spirit of Prophecies. Our producers tonight, Debbie Price and Sherry Brown, and as usual, my co host Anthony. Yes. Yeah, Anthony? Yes. Good night. Good night. Welcome. Welcome to the program. It's good to have you. Good to have you on, Anthony. Good to be here with you tonight. Yes, you can yes. you can call us at 876 619 1537. That's 876 619 1537. You can call us at that number. Or you can send us a WhatsApp message at 876 229 2754. We want to say a special welcome to all those who have joined us on YouTube. Thank you so very much for being with us tonight. Also, we want to thank our regular um, radio listeners. We appreciate your company. Um, you are always with us, and we appreciate the fact that you ha are always there with us. Um, and, Anthony, tonight we have a lot of information that we want to share with our listeners yes, yes, and the definitely. viewers. Yes. Um, there are so many things that are happening, Anthony. Yesterday was the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, a lot of persons were looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm hearing, Anthony, that persons have all type of illnesses that they are associating <laughs> with the eclipse. The eclipse, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, they call it the new eclipse illness. Mm system that have come up um headaches lack of persons not not eating food and all kind of things like that um you know somebody asked me why is it that the eclipse happened in the united states and not in jamaica mm. <laughs> <laughs> we looked at the fact also looked at the fact that the great religious awakening took place in that particular country but it is mm -hmm. where they they is, that is just a section where mm. how the sun, um, the movement of the sun and so on. Yes. Um, I was took the chance to explain to the person that the Bible is correct. Because mm -hmm. if it was the earth that was moving, the entire world would see it at the same time. <laughs> but it's because of the sun right. that was moving. Mm -hmm. Why you see it in some place and not in not others. others. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, Ian Evert. And one of the things is that... Um, if you notice some of the fulfillment of um, Bible prophecy um, takes place in the U.S. Um, if you remember, the Bible speaks about a few um, events that would have, um, you know, come before the, the, the final awakening. Yeah. Um, if you look at 
the, the book of say Matthew 24 or even Luke 21, 25, because yeah. this one is kind of more um, precise. If you look at Luke 21, 25, it tells you about a few prophetic <laughs> events that would have occurred and would have um, indicated that we were in the the last days yeah. or the time of the end. Yeah, but now we are in the end of time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Matthew, so Mark, Luke, yeah. Luke 21. Um, and verse 25 and this speaks to the u.s mm -hmm. being a part of bible prophecy yeah, yeah because most of the denominations tell you that they they don't see where the united states is a part of bible prophecy yeah, yeah. but these prophecies were were fulfilled mm -hmm. And um, the United States was was one of the epicenters right, of the right. fulfillment. For example, that's Luke, right. Luke 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun right. and in the moon right. and in the stars and yeah. upon the earth. Distress of nations yes. with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. That's right. Now, history tells us, um, well... Yesterday we saw the phenomenon where the eclipse would have brought the the sun, the darkening, darkening of the sun right. over the United States, yes. and and then the moon would, you know, in yeah. essence, not give her light. Right. So it was it was like a blood moon or something right. like that, right. and so on. Right. But if you notice, um, history tells us that the sun became dark, and this was not an eclipse phenomenon. Mm -hmm. It became dark in the in the um, 1800s, um, and then the moon did not give her light that same night, and also the the stars fell from heaven. I think it's 1833. 1833. 1833, yeah. and November and this 13, was yeah. over the United States. It was it was Mostly. not just yes. a meteoric shower, but right. you know those who the historians who actually saw it and wrote about it over the United States says that the stars seems to be coming emanating from a central point and exactly. you know a exactly. lot of stars. Exactly. And um later in the program we'll give you the date for the sun, the darkening of the sun. But if you look um there was another phenomenon, there was an earthquake phenomenon mm -hmm. and this earthquake phenomenon mm -hmm. you can find it in Revelation chapter six. Yes. Revelation chapter six gives you almost the same prophet prophetic um warning like Luke 21 25 because in Revelation chapter 6 I think and verse 12 um and I beheld Revelation 6 and verse 12 yeah and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal mm -hmm. and lo there was a great earthquake so notice that even though Luke saw the the, the darkening of the sun, the yeah, moon, right. and the stars falling and all of that, yeah. John is giving us another perspective. Yeah. And so John is saying, no, oh, once the sixth seal is open, well, we would have seen a great earthquake, no so? Yeah. And the great earthquake was the great Lisbon earthquake. Yes. And remember now, history tells us that the Lisbon earthquake affected all the continents right um we felt it from lisbon all over the world Africa, felt that. The West, <laughs> yeah. Everywhere, yeah. and so history yes. recorded yeah. that and ironically yeah. we noticed that with this um eclipse yeah. there was an earthquake in new york and right. and, and also in taiwan right and the lisbon yeah. earthquake yeah. dated back to the 1700 right yes yeah, 1755 right and yeah. um we noticed that the earthquake that occurred in new york they mm -hmm. said that the the this was the largest one from the 1700s when they had one there so the it's like they were going yeah. back to the 1700s right, right. i'm wondering um so we have the earthquake phenomenon yeah so so if you look back at revelation chapter 6 12 yeah um so he said when the sixth seal was open yes there was a great earthquake right and then it says and the sun became black as sackcloth yes. of air and the moon became as blood. Yeah. So it's almost a replica of what um, almost took a replica, place yes. yesterday. Yeah. Um absolutely. so so notice now mm -hmm. um yesterday over the United States mm -hmm. you would have seen the darkness. Right. In other countries no. 
Um, it's just like that Bible says: the plagues are not going to be everywhere, everywhere at the same time. Right. But um, those 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 places um, would recognize that these are indeed yes the plague so Definitely. that's what we're seeing and if you look at matthew 24 mm -hmm. it's the same thing again mm -hmm. matthew 24 tells us that mm -hmm. um the sun the moon the stars and so on so when you compare all of these you get a full picture that's right so um in the 17 1755 we have the great earthquake in the 1800s we have the sun going dark the moon the same day and then um we have the stars falling from heaven and so all we have now in terms of this these, these prophecies is the distress of nations yes. with perplexity yes yeah and this is where we're at now because yes. the distress of nation is, is right over us so. yeah. just to say that um the, the in may 19 1780 was when the sun became black May 19, 1870. Yeah. 17, yeah. And and yeah. this was yeah. not this was not mm. an eclipse. No, it was the, not. This an phenomena eclipse. was not yeah. an eclipse not an because eclipse. um when it when it occurred, yeah. Um the, the historians tell us mm. that the the chickens everybody went back to rules. Exactly. They said that um in the yeah. middle of the yeah. day, yeah. Um there was a, a sitting of the um mm. the the, the, the I, I think it's well it's, it's similar to the congress but this was in maine so it was the sitting of the the state of maine's um thing and they had to adjourn they had to go home because everywhere became black right. <laughs> yes exactly so yes um, um and and just to back up that that luke 21 text mm -hmm. anthony there's also one from matthew chapter 24 mm -hmm. verse 7 mm -hmm. Um, which says that for nation shall rise against nation. Mm -hmm. We see the wars right. breaking out, kingdom against kingdom. We see that happening, mm -hmm. and there shall be famines. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are experiencing that now, right. many places, and pestilences. We see that happening also, and mm -hmm. we just had a big one. They call the plant the, the pandemic. pandemic. <laughs> yes. And earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes in diverse places. Mm -hmm. And so this borough just last week, mm -hmm. we had the one in New York, the mm -hmm. one in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and the one in Taiwan, Anthony. Well, the epicenter was in Taiwan, but it was felt in in China, in mm -hmm. Japan, and Philippines. Mm -hmm. All of those places it was felt. And so we see the signs, which um, these are telling us that. We are right there at the end, mm -hmm. right, right there at the end. And um, I you notice that when the 1780 earthquake happened, even though it was this known as a Lisbon earthquake, mm -hmm. then the epicenter was only in in Lisbon, but it was felt in the United States. Yes, man. Yes. Um, it trembled the United States, mm -hmm. and and so many of these events that take place um, happen in the United States where. You know that great religious awakening mm -hmm. in, in 1844 the united states was the place mm -hmm. that that was the epicenter of that religious awakening right and so because it is this it is and it is still the center mm -hmm. of of religions no because when you go to the united states you see all different types mm -hmm. of religions and so on and and taking, taking place, so place yes. when the signs occur every time the signs come mm -hmm. it um it, it united states has to see them as well yeah because it, it is it it, it it is yeah. the two beasts of revelation 13 that exactly. would be ruling right. uh, the first beast revelation right. 13 1 to 10 yeah. talks about the first beast which is the roman catholic system and revelation 13 11 down speaks about the united states well look look at matthew 24 29 Matthew 24, 29 concurs mm -hmm. with um, Luke 21, 25, right. and Revelation 12, and sorry, Revelation 6 and verse 12. Yeah. Matthew 24, 29 yeah. says, immediately yeah, yeah. after mm -hmm. the tribulation of those days. Yeah. Now we need to understand yeah. the period that this is speaking right, of. Right. The tribulation of those mm -hmm. days would, would take us from 538 AD so, to 1798 AD. The, exactly. the dark Ages, the dark ages when right. the roman catholic church would have ruled the world and exactly. they would have persecuted and destroyed yes. you know true christianity yes. so so the bible is saying immediately after the 
tribulation of those days shall the sun be dark mm -hmm. and then we gave you the date for this the, right. the sun being dark yes. which is 18 the 70 may 1970 80. may 1970 yes uh -huh. mm -hmm. and and um the 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 moon shall not give her light yes and the stars shall fall from heaven Yes. And the powers of heaven shall, shall be, be shaken. shaken. Yes. Now, the powers of heaven mm -hmm. being shaken is Very not good. yet. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's right. That, because, that sense, yeah, yeah the, Bible, yes. the Bible talks about the power of heaven being shaken at the coming of Christ. That's a Revelation 6. <laughs> right, right. Yes. So, right. So, so we have two things that yeah. um, are, are still to yeah. be um, fulfilled. Right. We, well, well, the distress of nation with perplexity that mm -hmm. Luke speaks about, mm -hmm. um, it is happening now. Mm -hmm. eh? Because right. if you notice, there is this global warming crisis that they say that they have, yeah. and there is no solution to it. And, and then the pandemics that they are talking about, disease X and other things, um, you know, that seems not to have a, a solution. But the Bible says distress of nations with perplexity and mm -hmm. we are developing that scenario right now. And then exactly. after that, we're going to see the heavens um, shake. Yes. Yeah. We want to welcome all those who have joined us, Anthony, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much for joining us. But we, you notice we haven't prayed as yet. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's a preamble to it. Yeah. Yeah. This is, a, this is <laughs> an introduction. A, that's an introduction. Yeah. Um, you know, and so, then we're going to. <laughs> right. So I'm going to invite you now to bow your heads with us mm -hmm. so that we can pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you that you have clothed us in our right minds so that when all of these events happen, we can understand them and relate them to the instructions um, that you have given us in the Bible so that we can know the times in which we live, the fact that our relationship with you should be stronger and firmer. Thank you for clothing us in our right minds with understanding so that as we see we can indeed become closer to you. We pray that the Holy Spirit will take full control now as of this program. For Christ's sake, we pray. Amen. 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 Yes. All so, right. So, Melissa, mm -hmm. Beckford, good to have you on. Terry. Yes, welcome. Good to, welcome. Special welcome. Good to have you on. <laughs> yes, Special yes. welcome to yes. all of you who are joining us. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Be an Ebert, I was saying that, um, you know, the world is so upside it down right mm -hmm. now that um we tend to get rid of the things that belong to our peace yeah. based on what yeah. the bible says yeah. um luke luke 1941 mm -hmm. 42 the things that belong to our peace yes but they are it from our eyes oh yeah um yeah you know there is a diatribe on the bible and um, ironically, we hear Donald Trump, you know, came out in defense of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Not that he is, is, is one of those true Christians, but um, in the sense that, you know, the, the stones have to be crying out. Yes. Um, because yes. those people who claim to represent Christ, yes. they are actually, yes. um, you know, yeah. <laughs> well, yes, man. True. Uh, you call them yeah. Judas, yeah. <laughs> Judas, yeah. um, and and so the Bible tells us that these things would have happened. We are seeing them coming to pass right now. Exactly. And yet still, um, the Bible is as if the Bible is taken away from us. Yeah. I think the the, the 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 Bible tells us that the, these days would come. You know, yeah. we are, we would have the Bible, but it is like it's taken away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, Anthony, I was in a discussion yesterday. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we looked at was the fact that the persons in this world who are supposed to be representing God are not mm -hmm. doing such a good job. Because they're not doing such a good job. Yes. The, the stones are crying out. Definitely. Um, there are persons now who are making pronouncements. Mm -hmm. Persons now who are saying things and alerting persons to events and situations mm -hmm. about in place that the christian those persons who you know who say that they belong to god should be doing mm -hmm. but they are not so these other persons are doing it we thank god that he has given us the opportunity right. to be able to come on this program yes and pass on this information mm -hmm. um we recognize the responsibilities that we have 
And so we have to make sure that we are, you know, passing on this information, Anthony. Mm -hmm. we, the, the Bible is being fulfilled from every area you can think of. Yes. Every, in every direction. Mm -hmm. And um, there are events that once you miss it, then it means that it's right in your face. Mm -hmm. It is so difficult to miss. And when you miss it, Anthony, it is as if you have missed such a great such great information right that that will that would have opened your eyes but you know god keep putting it back again and again and again so that persons first even when you miss it the first time god give you again so that if you finally completely miss it mm -hmm. it would have been a deliberate yes. attempt on your part <laughs> not to be a part yes. of, of of god's institution or god's system mm -hmm. We want to start off, Anthony, by looking at a Bible text mm -hmm. in Exodus chapter 1. Yes. Exodus, the book of Exodus, mm -hmm. um, Genesis, and then Exodus. Exodus chapter 1, and looking from verse 6 on down. Exodus chapter 1 from verse 6 on down. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible, with the Bible has some interesting information that is so similar to our time. Yes. Uh, the Bible says, and Joseph died, mm -hmm. and all his brethren, and all that generation. So all of those persons died. Right. And the children of Israel were faithful and increased. Fruitful. Well, sorry, the children of Israel were fruitful. Yeah, it's important. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> it's fruitful, important yes, to, yes. to speak about oh, yes. being fruitful. Oh, yes. <laughs> so yes, important. Yes. yes. They were fruitful. Mm-hmm. Uh, fruitful means they have a lot of children. Yes, man. fruitful and increased abundantly, mm. and multiply. All right, so they increased abundantly and multiply, mm -hmm. and waxed exceeding mighty, mm -hmm. and the land was filled with them. Mm -hmm. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph, and mm -hmm. he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we than we mm -hmm. come on let us deal wisely with them lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there fall it out anywhere they join us unto our enemies and fight against us mm -hmm. and so get them out of the land mm -hmm. verse 11 says therefore they did set they, they did set over them taskmasters to mm. afflict them with their burdens mm. and they built and they built for Pharaoh's treasure cities, Python and Ramses. And um, I think we could leave it there at verse eleven. Yeah, yes, yes, um, yes, 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 that's good. But it is important to note mm -hmm. that a verse mm -hmm. says, you know, Joseph was there in Egypt. The circumstances that led to him being in, in, in Egypt mm -hmm. was unfortunate, but had worked it out. So, you know, God overruling the affairs of men mm -hmm. many times. And so it, it, he became second in line to Pharaoh. Right. And so when he died, um, the, the, the Bible says that a new generation came. They, they never know Joseph mm -hmm. and the type of relationship that existed. So Joseph died and his brethren, which were the sons of of um jacob also mm -hmm. died and the bible says the children of israel were fruitful fruitful mm -hmm. and increased abundantly mm -hmm. and multiplied and wax exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them mm -hmm. um i can just imagine mm -hmm. there are so many of them out today mm -hmm. that you notice the adjectives that the uh, Bible used fruitful, but, but I think well, I, I think yeah. you know, Nibret. Yeah. Um, one of the things the scenarios mm -hmm. um given here is that um, there arose a king who did not know Joseph, right? right. Um, it, it is interesting to note that the Bible made a, a, a note of this, yes, yeah. because remember now, Joseph actually saved Egypt, yes. Um, Joseph being an Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And he was not from there. He was a slave in that in that um, country, Egypt. Yes. And there was a famine, and um, Joseph came up with a solution for the famine. 
And so he saved the nation, not only Egypt, but all the nations around Egypt. Yes. Because remember, yes. his father and, and his siblings, they had to come down from Canaan right. to Egypt in order to survive that famine. Yes. Now, one of the things why the Bible noted, Niebuhr, that um, the king arose, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. Right. Um, it, it, it is significant because, because of what Joseph did for Egypt and for the nations. Mm -hmm. I remember Egypt was like the U.S. then. Right. Because it ruled the entire world. Yes. Um, and so whatever Joseph did was also attributed to Joseph's God. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so this king that came up who did not know Joseph, it, it, it meant something so that the bible recorded this way because remember now egypt was the center of civilization right. so they must have had a record yes <laughs> oh yeah and they for a different type right, of and yes. for a king yeah. to come up who did not know joseph yeah. it meant that he he would have renounced anything to do with joseph so yeah. it, he renounced joseph in terms of the the Ibu as a nation, yes, and he also Hebrew history right, and he he renounced Joseph's God. That's right. And so it, right. it it was noted, and notice mm -hmm. um you know what what advice he got. Mm -hmm. Um you know if if you notice that he said now that listen man, mm -hmm. the children of Israel. Have works great, and if we let them alone, they are going to become more mighty, <laughs> and yes. um, you know they will be able to conquer us. So it would it would only be a matter of time. Now the question is, neighbor, was there was there a problem with with the um, reproductive um, system in Egypt? <laughs> for the Egyptians. For the Egyptians? Yeah, because um, <laughs> in Egypt, you had mm -hmm. male and female. Right. So was it that there was something, some sort of social change in Egypt that would have caused them to become fearful of the mm -hmm. Hebrews, the Israelites, Yes. in, in terms of the... The, the, the reproduction of the women. Yes, yes, yes. Because he it was saying, so. yeah, because yeah. his concern, you know, yeah. was that, listen, these people are multiplying. So if they are multiplying and they are of another, um, you know, ethnicity, then all you have to do is encourage your people to multiply. multiply That's well. a fear yeah. country. It's, right. it's your country. Right. <laughs> so right. was there something wrong with it? And, and, is it that they had, um, you know, implemented systems, systems <laughs> that would have caused limit yeah. to growth? It well, would well, appear was so. there a two it, is better than two many system it, in because that was appear, this that yeah. was the cradle of civilization yeah. back then. So. Yeah, it appears so. <laughs> was there a yeah. system that was put in place that says that you can be transgender in the gender? Yeah, so, it appears so yeah. because history tells us yes. that. You know, when you delve deep into mm. the Egyptian history mm. and you begin to look at it, you see that there are a lot of gay people down there. Right. So, <laughs> also, yeah. gay and lesbians and right. also the fact that they had a lot of eunuchs mm. and so on that, that were there as well. So, it's based, right. on, based on the gods that they serve. Right. right. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we have a call on the line, Anthony. Okay. We have Brother Noah. Mm -hmm. I've heard from him in a while. Yes. Let's take this call. Brother Noah. Welcome, Brother Welcome. Noah. Yes. Yeah, good night. Yeah, man. Good, good night, night, man. Good to hear you, man. Yes, a long yes. time. been a while. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'm trying to now credit and every good thing there, you know? Oh, yeah. man. Uh, we'll, yeah. figure, we'll have to figure something out because you are part of the program. So. Yes, man. <laughs> I can't allow that, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, issue not my Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, man. Mm. I call tonight, call me a look, and I said, me not give a show, me a look what's happening in the world, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, me, and then me I said, my hope is dead and nothing left. Amen. Oh, beautiful, and, son. Yes. And Jesus, God and his righteousness, you know? Amen. Yes. Amen. I feel yes. not trust the sweetest for him, but only lean on Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. 
I thought that very serious an idea not just to see it this stream because there's so many confusion that take place right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing that really I take place right now. Mm-hmm. Confusion. Mm-hmm. A split. The serpent he must speak two way he must speak truth and he must speak right. Yes, and man. No man, yes. And no man can worship to master. Two master, yes. Yeah. If I'm not going to speak truth, I'm not going to speak lie. That means I'm devil, you understand? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So. Like, there's no lie in Christ. There's mm. no lie in the truth. Mm, so, yes. so if you speak lie and truth, that means you have to be... I am the devil. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to look into the message I'm going to bring earlier from the program. Luke 20. Luke 21, wow. 25, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. But when I was reading, and I was going down, I was looking into the parable where Jesus speaks. Mm-hmm. And he said, take a parable unto them. Verse 39, he said, he take a parable unto them. Mm-hmm. The only fig tree and all the trees. And when thou shoot forth, ye see and know for your own self that summer is now nigh yeah. and yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So what really I take place now, we can really see that Jesus Christ is on his way very yeah. soon. Yeah. And that's, himself, that, that's verse meaning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's the signs of the fig tree, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You true. know in your own self that summer is nice. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you see the perplexity, and you see the confusion, mm-hmm. and you see the, 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 the signs, and you see the wonders, mm-hmm. and you see all of them things, even mm-hmm. money. Because you see, people are about the eclipse, when I worry myself about the eclipse, or if, it, if it was an eclipse, I was an eclipse, because I want it. Mm-hmm. If a God send, set up the man and to do it, mm-hmm. I can't do nothing about it, that's what I want. And if a God send it, who mistake can't do nothing about it. Yeah. You understand know? right. me? So, we don't need to focus too much on too much of them things. We don't need to focus upon that, that summer is nigh and Jesus mm-hmm. is near. That's right. And people need to get ready to meet Jesus, because yes. people are so likewise, when you shall see these things come to pass, mm-hmm. you know that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Right. Yes. So only I say unto you, this generation shall not pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he said, Till. take heed to yourself. Let's say, anytime your heart be overcharged with your feet in, and with yeah. drunkenness and cares of this life, mm-hmm. and so that if they come upon you, and I know yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For as a snare shall it come upon all oh, them that fell yes. upon the trees of the whole of the earth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Watch ye therefore, this is my final verse, it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always, mm-hmm. that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. yes. So, we have, so, all will happen. We cannot stop it. We have to make the sure that at Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That repentance and follow Jesus Christ. That Amen. was the message Jesus gave to his disciples. Yes. Yes. Go out to the world and preach the gospel to every tribe and nation. Mm-hmm. Very because, true. Yes. Because you see, a kind of, you see the B system mm-hmm. and, uh, and all the technology, the B mm-hmm. system, the people don't know. The B system up at the part of the, te- at the, part of the mark of the B. The mm-hmm. technology. Yeah. The technology. Because he said, number is a number of a man. Number. Right. Number digital. Number digital are the same thing. <laughs> same thing. So the system that I'm going to create right now, digital ID, digital this, digital this, mm-hmm. are the new system. Right, sir. <laughs> and we, and we have to leave it alone yeah, and follow yeah. Jesus Christ mm-hmm. and don't overcharge themselves because things are going to happen mm-hmm. and now here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you're ready, the Bible says you must see to the mountain where the city of abomination. You know? mm. Yes, man. Mm. You know, really, really tired well, to me in my understanding. You know, you see your mind, you have yes. to leave, you have to leave Sodom and Gomorrah like, like <laughs> okay, you have to burn up. And if you, if you have your mind down there for your clothes them, and for your things, them, you have to leave. You have to leave. That's what I feel I'll start. You have to leave. He's too. So the message may have to the people that have to repent mm-hmm. and follow Jesus Christ. Even in a tribulation, because the tribulation comes to test the saints, you know. Mm-hmm. And people don't know it's a tribulation after the Christian, you know. Mm-hmm. Tribulation after we. Yeah, man, perfect your people, character. 
reste à l'heureux, la tiba nous, on se réa, ton mari, la tiba nous, on se réa, 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 on And if you if, if matter that you be real fast, that means that you have to look to him because mm-hmm. him and the truth, the way and the life. Amen. So That's all right. other health profit, the greater mm-hmm. than the chapter of Jesus. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yes. that's what the message bridges. Yeah, man. I, I, spread, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world, you know? Yeah, man. And before you go, you know, before you go, um, not to cut you, but before you go, you see? You, you you mentioned two verses here that, that I find very interesting. Verse 32 says, Very lately unto you, this generation shall mm-hmm. not pass till all be fulfilled. Because you remember right. you mm-hmm. mentioned around the, um, verse 29 that said, When you see the fig tree, yes. right. know that summer is nigh, right. meaning the coming of Christ is there. Yes. And then it right. goes on to say, This generation shall right. not pass till yeah. all be That's fulfilled. Yes. But right. But one of the things that links everything together is verse 36. It says, watch ye therefore. Mm-hmm. And, right. and um, sorry, sorry, 35. Oh. 36 is good, but 35 is the one that For I wanted to say. Yes. For as a steer shall it come upon them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. You see, yeah. the whole earth that is there, so mm-hmm. yeah. it is telling us that the... the the tribulation and everything that is now coming, that this generation mm-hmm. shall not pass, is going exactly. to affect every single individual on earth. On the face of and the so, earth. just like you mentioned about the digital system that is being put in place now, if you know it, it, it's a global system. Yes. Every exactly. single person. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that exactly. is why, and that is why, Brother Noah, you cannot be a Christian or be a shepherd of the flock where Christianity is concerned and promote this system for your flock to take it. Mm-hmm. No. And, and so this mm-hmm. is why we have a problem now with um, the, 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 the new board that is set up by the government now in Jamaica, the NERA board. Yes. That's the, the National Identification, Identification and, and Registration, Registration and Sys- Authority, Authority yes. which have a mm-hmm. bishop as the chairman, yes. and then you have this brother here named um, Newton Dixon, yes. who is a who is a representative of the Jamaica Umbrella Group of Churches. Yes. And the Jamaica I'm... Umbrella Group of Churches, based on what them say, control 94% of all the churches in Jamaica, 1.6 mm-hmm. million people based on 2010 figures. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, it's not a, I mean, that, you know, so, that here, you know, you know, Yes. Very much so, very much so, yeah, because when church and state come together, Revelation thirteen fifteen, church and state That's come it. together, That's you have, it. yeah, you That's have, it. you have yeah. the image of the beast. Right. And remember now, the beast, the beast is the Antichrist, you know, how the, mm-hmm. how the Antichrist and God's church can come together. Exactly. How that works. And that happened like you know, right in back in the old end is that history, you see where the Romans and the um the Romans and the and and the, and the government come yeah. together, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. And then the Protestants them they break it, but at this time and now them are bring back in the people. Everybody come back. And I need the same system yes, and the people them who I stand up, that's why the Bible says they're making the blood of the saints. Yes. That's why the same system that they have, I eat them, I use, fight against the truth. Right. That's why I don't see it because even the pastor, them, mm-hmm. them take over the pulpit and them, them not tell no, them not preach the light, which is Jesus no, Christ. No, man. That's why I see it. It's green again. Yes, man. You know? And it's sad. It's sad. Yes. But you see, who want to them that lead? God people are strain yeah. and who want to lead the people are sure because now sure. now we're pretty because if you're not have aisle for a dark age, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dark age and no aisle. You man, you don't have no light. Long <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, people when they hear people that say dark age and people might think they're physical and wicked yeah, and it's spiritual man. Yeah, man. And the feminist and the wolf in a sheep clothing, that's yes. a large age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
that's a dark age, and not physical light, and mm. the dark age, mm -hmm. people now nah, get to express and tell people the truth, and we must continue to live in our love. Because, because Jesus said, I love, you know, it's if we don't love one another, mm. like this, we know so we are disciples. But yes. once I hear the church, I agree with all Israel. Mm. And, 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 like, and genocide, if it's genocide, it's genocide, it's genocide, yeah. genocide, they're not going to go on Gaza Strip, you know, genocide, you know, yes, and the church agrees with you, know. Yeah, but, mm. but but brother Noah, it's not only the genocide, you know, which which goes against the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill, right? It's right. it's not only the genocide. But think about this. Israel recently they said that they have a couple of red efforts. They have about five or six mm. red effort. And okay. and the red effort, if you go back to the Exodus um situation, the red effort is used for cleansing. Yeah. So that you can start now to, to offer sacrifice, right. blood sacrifice. Right. 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 Um, now, if you are a Christian, sorry, a follower of, of Christ, and the Bible tells you that Jesus is the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. And if you believe that Jesus came and died for our sins, mm -hmm. Which the Bible tells us that the, the blood of sheep and turkle dove and goat mm -hmm. cannot cannot mm -hmm. <laughs> suffice for your sin. Right. Wonder if I'm saying. And then no, you are supporting a country that say we are go back to the system where we're going to offer sacrifice of sheep and bullock and yeah. goat. Jesus for you know, mean, eh? Jesus <laughs> you know, Jesus said that they say that they are Jews. And I'm not. <laughs> yes. see it the real Jews, you know. Mm -hmm. What a race. Because if you go in a revelation, tell us that nations from all different people, mm -hmm. and number of people from different nations, yes, black, man. white, Indian. All nations Indian shall be gathered. Yeah. 144,000 mm -hmm. and even more. If you explore more, now you realize that the Jews Numberless, are, yeah. the, are the chains of God. Mm -hmm. You see the chains of God, whether you have black, white, white. Mm. Any color, you have grafted to the blood of Jesus Christ, yes. you know, matter which race. Because yes. the Lord Jesus said, There are many that will come where I know full blood Jews, but I'm going to walk past you, full yeah, blood yeah, Jews, yeah, and go inside. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, so it simply means that we cannot, it's like, it's like we have the Bible, we have the scripture. And we're like, we are, we are in total darkness because how can you support this country, Israel? That is totally telling you that the, the Jesus the Christ that you say came and died on your behalf. It's like him him no land void there now because you're going to start off a um sheep and lamb. It's like it, it it's so disrespectful. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I reach out them out there. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. Blessings, man. I thank you very much for calling. Yeah, man. Appreciate yes. the call. Yes. All right. All right. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Ian Ebert, um, I, I just wanted to um, um, say hi to a couple of persons. Um, yeah. Today, one of our sisters, Sister Kid. Oh, she she oh, met in an accident, um, oh, right. so you know we are praying for her. Yes, and yeah. hoping that she has a good um, you recovery. Know, yes, because yeah. well, um, she's under observation. Okay. You know, God is good. God is good. And then we want to big up Brother Smith over there in um, Gibraltar, and and Sister Smith who might be listening at this time. Yeah. Um, we didn't see him last week, so we're hoping that he's, yes, he's okay. And then we have the Douglases in Colorado Lane, yes, uh, brother and sister Douglas. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I want to big up also. I, I noticed that my uncle is is also <laughs> listening, okay. Bernie. Yes, yes, um, welcome, welcome, <laughs> yes. welcome to the program. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's good to have you on. Mm -hmm. Good, really good to have you on. Mm -hmm. And Melissa asks a question mm -hmm. on it. Just a question. Says, what is the three days of darkness? Is it real or is it or is it biblical? I was looking way mm -hmm. um to see if we read anything about three days of darkness. Well, it it, yeah. it it's one of those um esoteric events mm -hmm. that 
um, people t- keep mentioning. Remember that um, one of the plagues, Niebuhr, yeah. um would have just nah, when yes. when when Moses yeah. and Aaron, um, yes. it, it was that mm. deep darkness that yes. you know the Bible says that you could almost feel it. Right. And um, so what we are having now is you know these persons they are talking about these darkness and along with it they are selling special candles and whatever else but the darkness that the bible speak about is part of the seven last plagues Mm -hmm. and this darkness the the bible says will now land on the seat seat of of the the bees bees. yes revelation 16 because because Mm -hmm. they plunge the world into darkness because remember you know it's 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 um the first time that the roman catholic Mm -hmm. system ruled the world Mm -hmm. 538 1798 it was called the dark ages that's right and one of the reasons for for calling it the dark ages was the Mm -hmm. suppression of the word of God, which is a lamp and a light. What if you see what I'm saying? That's right. And yeah. with the with the reemergence of the the papacy ruling the world at this time, we are going right back into darkness. Because yeah. if you notice, you know, Nebert, um, even though we have the Bible, just like the discussion we had with Noah, mm-hmm. our brother Noah, right? Yeah, I, I was happy when he said that we are back in the dark ages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm he said that, so mm-hmm. it means. And we discussed uh, Revelation 13, verse 15. Mm-hmm. So so he, he was on target. Right. Yes, um, yes, so, yes. So, so what we're yeah. saying is that um, mm-hmm. we are actually back in the Dark Ages yes. because even though the Bible is available mm-hmm. to us now, um, it's, not, it's not only written in the Latin language and it's not chained to the pulpit, but it's as if we don't have the information because think about it now. All of Christendom, the Christians, yeah. these um, evangelicals and, and, and the rest of them that are there, they are now supporting Israel to say that this is the chosen people and that if you don't support them, then God is not going to bless you and so on. But look at what Israel is doing. Mm-hmm. Israel is now saying that we don't accept the Messiah. Right. Well, not no saying, but they are proving yeah, right. <laughs> that yeah, they don't right. accept yeah. Jesus as the Christ. Right. And what did John say? The book of John tell you, you know, if you don't accept that Jesus came in the flesh and he died for us, then you are antichrist. Yeah. Yet still, the people who say that they are Christians are hugging up, they are sending donation, they are praying for this 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 set of the people. Antichrist set of people. Right. Who are <laughs> saying that we yeah. do not accept the blood sacrifice right. of Jesus right. for the remission of our sins. You are now coming with the the the, 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 the cause, the, yeah. the, the effort, which means yeah. that you have rejected even what John the Baptist says. Yes, because John the Baptist in John 1 29, yes. when Jesus Behold. was coming to him for baptism, mm-hmm. says, Behold, the Lamb of God, that which takes, takes away, away the sins yeah. of the world. Yeah. Also, when Jesus was on the cross, mm-hmm. and the priest at the same time was carrying on the, the, the sanctuary systems where they were offering mm-hmm. and it was behind cl- a closed curtain mm-hmm. and they, they, they were told in the Bible that the veil of the temple um, was, was cut in two, was right. rented in twain mm-hmm. which means that all of that system mm-hmm. had now met their fulfillment in right. Jesus so that system mm-hmm. of offering that type of blood sacrifice was no longer necessary right. because the Lamb of God mm-hmm. which 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 John proclaimed in John 1 29 had come. Mm-hmm. So so if you rejecting Jesus mm-hmm. and rejecting the work of Christ would mean that you would go back to the old testament system, right. which is exactly what the the Israelite the, the, the Israel are Israel are doing right now with, with those efforts. And and then you have all of these people mm-hmm. who are giving credence. Look look at yeah. one John, first John two and verse twenty two. Yeah. First John 2 and verse 22 says, you know, who is a liar? Mm-hmm. Who is a liar? But he that denied that Jesus is the Christ. Yes. He is antichrist. Exactly. That denied the father and, and the, the son. son. Mm-hmm. So if you deny, in denying that Jesus is the Christ, right. it would mean that you deny the, the, the blood sacrifice of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. And so to go back to that state where you are now going to offer lamb and turtle dove, yes. you know, as 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 a mean to to you know atone for your sins, you have denied Christ. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. And so how can light and darkness walk together? Right. And how comes that Christians have the Bible, followers of Christ yes. have the Bible as their yeah. guide, yes. and yet still you are following this nation that right. was that was made up by the yeah. Rockefellers and, and the yeah. and the Rothschilds. Exactly. And, <laughs> and, um, <Yeah. laughs> right. and I love verse 23. Mm. Whosoever denied the son, mm -hmm. the same are not the father. Right. So, so how is it that you say? So, so it's a different God. Them it's a different God. God. It's a totally different God. So them get the whole Christendom, the whole <laughs> Christian world to, to follow them and to, to support them. So, so that's that's where the darkness is. Mm -hmm. And so this three day of darkness is 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 you know one of those things that the right. esoteric world. Yes. And and the um the antichrist system plays on us, and so a lot of people are um you know following following yes. that thing. Right. And, and and so we go back. The, oh, sorry. No, oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. So so we go back then to Exodus. Mm -hmm. To to the yeah, book of Exodus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we go back to Exodus. We want to thank the callers mm -hmm. that I came, brother um Noah. Noah yes. Thank you so very much, brother Noah. Um, because this we are. It, it kind of leading us somewhere, and yes, uh, yes, definitely. And um, we were at well, we we looked at the fact that there arose a new king over Egypt, right. which knew not Joseph, right? But then we were also look at verse 7 and the children of Israel were fruitful mm -hmm. and um, increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly exceeding mighty mm -hmm. and the land was filled with them mm -hmm. so there was no hindrance to their multiplication right there was no hindrance to them having any type of children or anything yes. which means that god so blessed them that they had more than the egyptian <laughs> <laughs> there the is more yeah neighbor if you look at genesis 1 and 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 this this will um show you that the bible is indeed um true yeah and that you know it, there is a orchestrated attempt to to rid you know the people right um you know from a knowledge of the true creator and also mm -hmm. the, the the biblical evidences so people now have a problem think about this they tell us that the the bible was written by man yes man write the bible mm -hmm. and they write the bible in order to control the masses um in 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 another place they say that um they give us religion especially christianity it's called the opium of the masses because it's like it's a high that, that yeah. they keep you do sell but 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 you know man has always tried to go against the bible even though they write the Bible. So, so what you say, man is so stupid that they would have written the Bible and then the Bible would come against them but in yeah, such a remarkable exactly. way. <laughs> and and, and the, the, the remarkable thing about the Bible, Anthony, mm. is the way how it is cohesive. Mm. Um, as soon as you read this text, actually, yeah. we have a call on the line. Right. Contender of the faith. So you can read it and then again. And to, then we get to... Then. All right, look at Genesis 1 and verse 20, uh, 26. Genesis 1, 26 tells us, you yeah. know, 26 that, to 28. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Genesis 1, 26 to 28 says, yeah. And God said, Let us make man in our image yeah. after our likeness. Yeah. And let us give them, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, yes. over the fowls of the air, yes. over the cattle, over the earth, yeah. over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Yes. So God created man in his own image. Yes. In the image of God created he, male yes. and female created in them beautiful yeah. and look at verse 28 now mm -hmm. god and god blessed them yes and god said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth now <laughs> if man read the bible <laughs> neighbor why is it that man is going out of his way you know yes. to tell us uh, two is better than too many don't oh. multiply and replenish so much yes. and then him tell us uh, Mm -hmm. The earth is overpopulated. Mm -hmm. We have to depopulate the earth. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't put this in the Bible. No, no, man. <laughs> God, this is out of sync. With oh, of course, else. with everything else. Out of sync with everything yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. out of All right, we have content of the faith on the line. Let's get one. Brother Contender, welcome. Welcome, yes, Brother sir. Contender. Yes, sir, Virgin. Yes, sir. Welcome, man. as usual, man. Yeah, Good man. to hear your voice. Yeah, yeah man. 
The Bible says, Holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah, holy men of God. Yes, man. Yes. So, the men, 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 But me kind of, kind of troubling on my spirit still, you know, so no, it's we kind of take it lower still, because you see me that big, you know, anywhere me go, I me can express myself, because me know if you express myself, because me that child of God. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I me can say nothing, I just the past, that they might talk, and me can ask questions, and me can say nothing. Um, Cause they do it in a style, so me not do in a kind of something. Cause mm. me, me la man nah, bo. <laughs> I just have to keep myself to myself. Too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Before me bo with a car, it no want to talk man talk with me. Cause me no, me no want to talk nothing. Nah, me can't call him. Me no better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it be more confusion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It be more confusion and the confusion of my mind too. Be sell out because I said things from my past and I know certain things and I'm not that. Mm-hmm. So it will work that you, it will work out that if I can find myself, no come out of Babylon, I still go in there, I go find out work out myself to be a hypocrite. Because mm-hmm. you have to talk the truth whether they hear or they want for beer. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, we not have to use no style. Me, personally, we not have to use no style because the God is there. Yes, yes. Straight and clear. We need to mm-hmm. tell it that it is. Right. Yes. And, we, and the God will tell us that some of them, are, them are, they're not going to lie. Some of them are going to Some of them are going to Some of them are So, I can't sell out. I can't bow. Mm-hmm. So, more to all, I kind of know these certain things. I was listening to the program and there, I would not see me and pray for you, see me, but I not to make no talk. If you talk, I make me a good straight talk, right? But you know, if you go wrong, you know, but I'm straight, you know? Yeah. If you go wrong, I'm straight, man. I'm genuinely wrong, man. I'm not going to acknowledge that. I said, I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I'm not going to repent. Yeah. So, I'm straight like horror, man. I'm wrong, you know, that I'm not telling you, because I'm not going to correct it, I'm wrong at times. Yes. Yeah, man, it's true. I'm not going to Canada. So I just do a little two little verses. Yeah. And leave, you know, still, you know. Mm-hmm. Act 17. Mm-hmm. Act 17, 23. And then I'll go back to 30 and finish up. Yes. Act 17, 23. Where I passed by and the earlier devotion. Mm-hmm. And I found on the altar with inscription to the unknown God. Yes. Whom therefore you signal worship yes. and declare unto you. Yes. So I'm going to jump out of this and go down at 30 cars. I'm going to take up my time, but I'm not going to come out of the context. Yes. yes really. well. At the time of this ignorant God winter. Yes. No command it all men everywhere to repent. Yes. And I start with myself, because it's mm. all mm. men. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I don't say I do not need to have been a repent, I know that I might do it again for me living and I still need to repent because mm-hmm. it don't make me stay daily. Yes, so, like I believe everything in here, you know, and now command it all men mm-hmm. everywhere. I mean, I'll talk from about America to everywhere, everywhere what the yeah. world, all of the president mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. I talk myself to, to repent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, God, I got to do a thing, you know, and in plan to do a thing, and by the full team, the blessing of down, and we have give you the opportunity mm-hmm. and call men everywhere to repent, yes. turn from wickedness and turn to God. Because as the conversation was going on with him, but I know it was so rich, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was so enlightening to people to see things clear and properly, but. But you know, go on digital, but I know that I'm dealing with so. <laughs> you just can't choose. And you know, and when I'm dealing with numbers, you can't choose in a number so easy, you know, because two months you can't have 57, you know. One of the 57, one of the 58, and one of the 59. Yes, sir. Content yeah. that, I don't have another content in America, I don't have another content in yeah. England. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
King David mm. number the people. Mm. Job was was against it because he told the king that boy king he had a wrong thing. Yeah. And um, you know, but he still went ahead. And did it. And yeah. and we are seeing the numbering mm. system going on right now. Mm. And one other thing about it is um is the fact that the church mm-hmm. the church is on board with it. Um, and we are saying this because if they have not yet come to you and tell you to accept the needs, mm-hmm. to accept the, 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 the digital ID system, mm-hmm. they are coming because they are actually a part of the, 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 the board, mm-hmm. the new board that is set up, that mm-hmm. is going to, um, you know, take over the yeah. RGD, the, yeah. the registrar general yeah. department. Yeah. They are going to take over you know, the b- registration of birth and death and mm. all that comes in between. Yes. Plus the passport and immigration right. department and, right. Um, right. working together with them right. and right. all that kind of thing. Yes. Yes. And so um, we, are, we are seeing that at this time. Mm. We, we know it's coming mm. because um, during the pandemic, mm. they, they came to the churches and they told us to observe all the protocols. Right. And um, they also tells us, well, they, they, they told us to take the safe and effective poison. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know Contender was alluding to the safe and effective poison. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, one of the things is that we have to understand, um, for, for, the, for the small amount of time that we have left on the air, um, because the laws are being, you know, put passed, yeah, they are being put, put in, in place, place now, yes. and so, mm-hmm. you know, all of this thing about hate speech, the Bible is going to be taken. Mm-hmm. We can't say anything about right. the Bible anymore, and so right. on. Right. So the words that we can talk about, no, mm-hmm. we have to just put them in, yes. and so when that time come, you know, at least we did. <laughs> yes. we did say. And at least the word of God went out yes, because yes, the yes. unadulterated truth mm-hmm. went out. Mm-hmm. We were saying that God said to Adam and Eve, be fruitful and mm-hmm. multiply, multiply yes. and replenish the earth. Mm-hmm. So the children of Israel were being only being faithful to God. Mm-hmm. They were um, being fruitful and they multiplied to such a great degree mm-hmm. that, they, that the Egyptians were fearful. Mm-hmm. Now, the Egyptians are those who represent paganism, mm-hmm. Anthony, and, um, and they were afraid mm-hmm. of God's people. Right. And they put measures in place to curtail their movement and all kind of things like yes. that. Yeah. You know, the question is, Niebuhr, yeah. that um, in modern time, if you look at what is happening in modern time, mm-hmm. and this is how you know those who represent God yeah. and those who represent Satan. Um, one other thing that you can look at is, um, you know, you wonder why is it that um, Satan and the Antichrist system has mm-hmm. always wanted to depopulate the earth? Right. Right. Um, think right. about during the dark ages, yes. there was a depopulation agenda. Yes. And um, ever so often right. in Earth's history, there's a depopulation agenda. So yes. the world wars that we have had yes. was was a concerted effort to depopulate a, the Earth. Depopulation, yes. yes. Uh, brother, brother Webby is on the line. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Mm. All right. We will speak to him shortly. Mm-hmm. We'll speak to him just later. 
Um, yes. So there's always a depopulation agenda. Right, as a right. matter of fact, Anthony, I am looking at a document right now. Mm -hmm. All right, before we look at this, go into this document, um, Brother Webby is not ready. Mm -hmm. So let us speak to him. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Brother Webby. Yes, Brother Liebert and Brother Antonio and radio listeners. Mm -hmm. Good night, Brother yes, Webby. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Let me tell you something about some people and mm -hmm. animal sacrifice and them kind of sacrifice. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if the message that still, but they have to add something to it. Yeah. Hebrews. <laughs> Hebrews 9 28 and Hebrews 10 and 4. Yes. Then two verses, then then. Yes. With my own. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Hebrews 9.28. Mm -hmm. So Christ was once offered yes. to be the sins of mm -hmm. man, yes. of many, mm -hmm. yes. and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin mm -hmm. and to salvation. That's right. And the other so, so, so it's once... Yeah, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Hebrews. Yeah, he Hebrews 9 28. Mm -hmm. It says that yeah. Christ was offered once. Yeah. And Hebrews 10 verse 4 says, mm -hmm. For it is not possible mm -hmm. that the blood of bulls mm -hmm. and of goats, and of goats mm -hmm. should take away your sin. Well, yeah. Thank you, Brother Willie. <laughs> when we say it, people might think, say, I just half of the top of it. Thank you, boss. You had the real research, I know. <laughs> the Bible. <Yeah. laughs> you speak the Bible. Yeah. Amen. I mean, yeah. read it again. Verse 10 says, and chapter 10, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For it is not possible yeah. that the blood of bulls and of goats should take, should away, take sins. away sins. Yes. And so how comes them Christian, sorry, them um, people who say them follow God? Yeah. Of the Bible as their um, moral guide. Yes. Yeah. How can you endorse yeah. a country, mm. Israel, mm. when they all go back to that system? Yeah. That's why Brother Noah says, uh, referring to Revelation 2 9, they mm. say they are Jews. And, and I, 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 yes. um, the rest <laughs> of the text, the, that text says they are of the synagogue of Satan. Satan, yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Light yeah, and bro, darkness can work. Light together. and darkness can be. <laughs> Yeah, brother, we continue. So, Verse 5, it says to Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so we'll go back in a revelation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Revelation 2. Mm -hmm. And we have a start uh, Verse 8. Yes. And unto the angel of the church. In Samaria, Smyrna. right. In Smyrna, right, yes. Mm -hmm. In Smyrna, Smyrna. Yeah. yeah. Right. These things set the first and the last. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which was dead and is alive. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I know thy works mm -hmm. and tribulation mm -hmm. and poverty. Yes. Yeah. But thou art rich. Mm -hmm. And I know the blasphemy of them. <laughs> say they, are say they are Jews mm -hmm. and are not, but are synagogues of Satan. Definitely. Fear none of those things mm -hmm. which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into, into prison, prison. Yes. Mm -hmm. that he may be tried yes. and he shall have tribulation ten days mm -hmm. be thou faithful unto death mm -hmm. and I will give thee a crown, crown of yes. life mm -hmm. right. let them last he that hath an ear mm -hmm. let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches mm -hmm. he that overcometh shall not be hurt the second day. Right. That's right. So we have to overcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, man. Yes, and brother Antony. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, brother Willie. I mean, it, it is so important because this now tells you that, um, for example, verse verse nine says, "I know thy works and yeah. tribulation, and and poverty, but thou yeah. art rich." Because if you mm -hmm. notice, it's in bracket, you are rich. Right. Um, the thing is that Jesus told us already, you know, my kingdom is not of this world. Right. And so you are going to be seem seems as if you are poor in in terms of yeah. this world's good, mm -hmm. but the, the the value of eternal life and eternity with your Creator, you are actually rich. Of course, but yeah, most people yeah. don't know. Most people are running down the things of this world. That is why the the leadership, the clergy, yes. Can now unite, can yeah. You can easy. unite with the yeah. state to yeah. tell your people to accept the mark of the beast system. Right. Wonder if you see what I'm mm. saying? Because they want to be rich in this world and yeah. they want yeah. part of the world to come. Yeah. <laughs> but the Bible says that if you are a friend of this world, you are, you are, you are enemy. an enemy, enemy to God. God. Mm -hmm. And so the teachings that are happening now is actually teaching you to become an enemy of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and verse 10 fear none of these things mm -hmm. which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, yeah. when you stand for what is truth, yes, uh, true, brother, true. Baby, when you stand for the right, persecution must come, mm -hmm. it will come, yeah, because you are the different person, you are the one that yeah. is that is outstanding, mm -hmm. you you have not joined in with everybody else, mm -hmm. but true, true. but. The Bible says that you should not be fearful. Yes. It says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So he's telling yeah. us these things before they happen. It's similar yeah. to, to, to John chapter 16, verse 1 to 4. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus tells us the things before it comes to pass, so that when it comes to pass, we may know mm -hmm. that he told us before. So, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, and he shall, and he shall be tried, and he shall have tribulation. Uh, yeah. In the fullness, <laughs> full tribulation, uh, for ten days, mm -hmm. uh, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So once you are yeah. faithful, after you have been tried, then yeah. the Bible says that you know they, they, you will receive a crown of life, mm -hmm. and this happens yeah. at the resurrection. Mm -hmm. True. And Paul, it was Paul that says, "For me to live is gain; to die is Christ." Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. There is a crown of life waiting for him. Oh, yes, yes man, definitely. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, and Timothy said again, say, all who live faithful. Godly. Right. All that live godly in Christ, yes. yes. Must yeah. suffer persecution. Yes, man. Yes. So, so persecution mm. is, is part and parcel of the whole thing. That's right. And, and if you think yeah. about the system that is now being set up, um, Brother Weddy, if you do not accept the system, there's part of the law that tells you that you're going to be fined. Yeah. And yeah. if you if you if you don't uh, let's say you don't accept the needs, um the needs is linked to your bank account, your right. digital wallet. Right. So you don't accept it, you are going to be fined, right? Then if you cannot pay the fine, you're going to incur um penalties and interest and all of these things. You can't pay it, they will put you in a prison. And that's what the Bible mm -hmm. says yeah, so. And then eventually the most say, man, you're you of no use to society. So let us get rid of you. Just get rid of you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying. You have to stand up like the tree Hebrew man. Definitely, yeah, man. man. And, yeah. and remember they were thrown in the fire furnace. And yeah. Jesus was there with them. So um, true, you true. know, that's that's our example. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, we want right. to, yeah, thank you so very much, brother Webby, yes, yes. for your contribution as usual. Really appreciate it. Thank, yes, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next week again. Yes. Together. Thank you. We have to, we have to go to the name, brother Webby, the blessed old Bible researcher. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the information is Reference. really on point. Yes, yes man. The researcher. Yes, man. Yeah. So, so Newbert, we were talking about this whole um, idea of multiplying and replenish here. Right? Yes. And um, if you notice that the, the children of Israel, mm. while they were in Egypt, they were multiplying, replenishing, replenishing. Mm. and so much so that it got to the attention of the king. Yes. And the king became very um, nervous. 
yeah, it was trouble. Right. Um, but but, but <laughs> notice nervous, this king yeah. that that um mm-hmm. you know became nervous was the one now who renounced the god of um Joseph. That's right. The Hebrew god, and yeah. he he accepted the counsel of mm-hmm. his gods. Yes. Wonder if you see what I'm saying? Yes. And so he would have implemented strategies mm-hmm. to keep the population of the e- e- Israel mm-hmm. Hebrews under control. Yes, man. Now, if you notice, every single country on earth has implemented strategies to keep their population on under control. Right. Um, if you notice the, the on the African continent, yeah, that's the continent that has caught the eyes of um, all the Western countries, and they have endeavored to keep that continent under control in terms of population growth. And so, you know, this is why we uh, we know that the the people who are on that continent they are more God fearing than all the others. Yes, because uh, yes. Yes. Because um, the, 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 the that, ability yes. to multiply and yes. replenish is yeah. always with them. If you notice, all the Western countries, mm. they have to do what is called um, a manipulation of the population, mm. where they have to know, you know, be having these um, refugees and, and um, what you call them now, the people, they, they, they cause problem in other people in country, yes. in these third world countries, yes. and everybody know uh, run go to the develop countries because mm. their population is declining. Yes. And in order to have those population replenish, that's they what they do. They call from other places. <laughs> like Canada. Yeah. So, once, you, once you go on the internet, it's a Canada advertising. People should come. Yeah. Come, come, and, come. And so come it's, it's, it's a places. deliberate yes. thing yes. For, the, for the Western countries yes. now to go in and destabilize the, the, right. the, the, these countries that yeah. are God-fearing. Right and 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 you know and and are growing in terms of population. That's right. And and so you have these what they call them refugees and yeah. asylum seekers yes. and all of these things. Yes. Um, you know, it's part of the the whole system. True, Anthony. So we are now, Anthony, at nine twenty-four p.m. Mm-hmm. So we are, Man. Yeah, we have gone really, yes. really far. Yes. So to, yes. and, and this is Waves ninety-six point three FM. Mm-hmm. Blessed old preview program and so we come now to the fact Anthony, that nowadays mm-hmm. the same system that existed back then when the egyptians said that they wanted to get rid of the people decrease population right um there, there's an institution Anthony, that is known as the club of rome mm-hmm. who has the same agenda right the very same agenda i'm going to read um, something from the Club of Rome. Mm-hmm. He says it was founded in 1968 mm-hmm. at Academia de Lice in Rome, Italy. The Club of Rome consists of current and former heads of state. This mm-hmm. is important. Current and former heads of state. And UN, also UN bureaucrats, uh, high-level politicians and government officials, diplomats, scientists, economists, and business leaders from around the world. Mm-hmm. And so this is a worldwide organization. Right. Right? It stimulated considerable public attention in 1972 with the first report of the Club of Rome. And the very first report of the Club of Rome is entitled The Limits of Growth. Mm-hmm. The Limits of Growth. And these limits of growth included the population growth. Um, the, and we, we know... Uh, and another program told her who the club members are were Henry Kissinger and um, Bill Gates, Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, George Soros, Mikhail Gorbachev, and many others. The Club of Rome is advancing the agenda of Thomas uh, Malthus, who argued that population was held within resource limits mm. by two types of tricks. One, positive one, which raised the death rates. Mm-hmm. So the positive, now, when I look at this, I thought that the positive would mean that you should continue. <laughs> you multiply and replenish. <laughs> to multiply. Mm-hmm. But there's a positive one which raised the, the death, death rate. rate. Death rate. Mm-hmm. And two... I've never seen that now, yeah? I've never seen that now. Mm-hmm. And two preventative ones which lowered the birth rate. Yeah, we are seeing that So they well. look at it from two sides. Mm-hmm. Um, death, um, make sure that the death rate is up there very high Mm -hmm. and also that the birth rates are very low Mm -hmm. the positive checks included hunger disease and war the preventative checks abortion 
birth control, prostitution, mm. homosexuality, mm. postponement of marriage and celibacy. And so this is this is what the Club of Rome instituted. Mm. And and the, the first report as far back as 1972 pointed to this, Anthony. Mm. And so we see the Club of Rome still having such a great influence mm -hmm. on the world today because this sounds like something that was announced yesterday. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> sound like that. You said the kind of thing. Anthony. And then if you think about, yeah. um, think about what the new world order is 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 putting forth now. Yeah. Um, just just maybe a couple of months ago, we had a situation in Jamaica where there was a diplomatic row be between Jamaica and the U.S. Right. Where the U.S. was saying that the the gay and lesbian agenda must be um, embraced by Jamaica as yeah. a society. It's it's not that Jamaica don't embrace it, you know. It's just that we need to put it on our laws, <laughs> put it on the books. Yeah. Um, yeah. Liberate. and and it's not it's not just the country as a whole. It's also the clergy. And so what what you find is that the the, the churches and everybody has embraced not only the gay and lesbian agenda, which is which is an agenda to um, reduce the population and go against God's will. But also, um, they have the agenda as well to, to, to um, depopulate the earth with, with death. Oh, yeah. And, and um, we saw it with, with the introduction of the, um, the safe and effective poison during the, the, the pandemic. Pandemic, that's right. And that's this right. safe and effective poison, the yes. scientists tell us mm -hmm. that um, it not only destroy you in terms of myocarditis mm -hmm. and, and other um, disease Jesus, that, cancer, that, yeah, and, 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 turbo cancer and, turbo and so cancer. on. Not just any cancer, terrible cancer. Right, right. but but it also yeah. affects the reproductive organs exactly of um, so. male and female. Yes, yes. And so the whole idea of um, you know mm. controlling the population yes. is 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 part and parcel of the agenda. And to think that the church, neighbor, <laughs> when, when you talk about gross darkness, you know the Bible tells us that darkness would cover the the the, the earth. And grows darkness, darkness the people, people yes. because the persons who are given responsibility over the flock, mm -hmm. they are encouraging the people to enter into darkness under the beast, the mark of the beast system. System, mm -hmm. and I like our brother Noah put it. Mm -hmm. Our brother Noah says all of the things that is happening now mm -hmm. <laughs> with population control and everything, the darkness that is on here is a part of the beast system. System, definitely. Brother Noah actually says so it. the system so, is up and running. So the system <laughs> is up and running. <laughs> up and Brother running. Noah tells us that <laughs> right now we are going through the dark ages. Definitely, definitely. Is, that's what he told us. Can right now imagine? we are going through the dark ages. Yes, yes. There was this man called Dennis Meadows, mm -hmm. Anthony, um, who spoke on the limits of population growth. Mm -hmm. And um and he had something very interesting to say mm -hmm. on that. So we're going to play mm -hmm. play it so that you know persons can hear what he's saying. Uh, there are two parts, a part one and a part two. So we're going to well, there are actually four parts. We're only going to play two parts mm -hmm. this evening. But the important thing to realize we don't consider climate change to be a problem. It's a symptom when you have when you have physical growth in a finite planet, pressures are going to mount to stop growth. Those, and climate change is one of those pressures. So it's a symptom of our efforts to keep promoting physical growth in a finite planet. You know, ironically, if we solved climate change, if we could somehow push a magic button and eliminate uh, greenhouse gases anymore, then the consequences will be, if I continue with our growth, we'll just have to see bigger pressures in other sectors than the water scarcity or... or ...growth have to equal the pressures in favor of growth. And only when they're equal, the growth will stop. All right. I'm not sure how loud it was. <laughs> Persons were able to hear it. But here we have a system. Here we have a system where Dennis Meadows 
um, is saying, Anthony, that there are limits to growth. <clears throat> and he also mentioned climate change. And, um, and because there are limits to growth, Anthony, um, it wasn't so very loud. So play it in the mic. Yeah. So we're going to play it again to see if you can hear it. If your persons can hear it, we're going to play it. Because it's very important to hear. We're going to play it again. But the important thing to realize, we don't consider climate change to be a problem. It's a symptom. When you have... When you have physical growth in a finite planet, pressures are going to mount to stop the growth. Those, and climate change is one of those pressures. So it's a symptom of our efforts to keep promoting physical growth in a finite planet. You know, ironically, if we solved climate change, if we could somehow push a magic button and eliminate uh, greenhouse gases anymore, then the consequences will be, but continue with our growth, we'll just have to see bigger pressures in other sectors than water scarcity or, or epidemics or warfare or some other pressure will have to become even more powerful because finally the pressures against growth have to equal the pressures in favor of growth. And only when they're equal, growth will stop. Anyway, if you notice, if you notice that um, the same thing that the Club of Rome um, put in their manifesto yes. about what they use to curtail growth mm -hmm. in terms of human population, wars, famines, all of these things, that he's saying now oh, that um you know that that's what you would have to employ to to stop growth right um and and this growth that he speaks about is the human population but if you right. notice one of the fears that he had is is the whole idea of climate change yes and um when god told us to multiply and replenish the earth he would have provided us with with all the things that are necessary to sustain that growth Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. um their idea of carbon being the enemy of of um you know the the, the, the world. Carbon, can you imagine the trees use carbon <laughs> and, and uh, right. utilizes it exactly. and gives us oxygen and all exactly. of these things. So yeah. um it you see Satan we, we need to understand the genesis of this problem of population growth. Mm -hmm. Satan, the Bible tells us, came down with a third of the angelic hosts. Yeah. The angels cannot um, reproduce. Right. They cannot procreate. The Bible tells us that only humanity was given the ability, the ability yes. to procreate. And we That's were right. created in the image and likeness of God. That's right. And so we have that creative ability yes. in addition to being able to procreate. Exactly. Satan has only one third mm -hmm. his number is finite yes humanity has the ability to to exceed Amen. and to double and yes. to triple yes. um the number that he has yes he needs to be able to control humanity yes in order to continue his survival that, well, is so, that is so true Anthony. um just like the king yeah. of the, the the pharaoh the king of egypt yes the fear when he looked out he recognized that in order for the egyptians to be able to survive yes they would have to limit the growth yes of the hebrews that's right and remember now he mm. was getting his mm. advice from satan, from himself. satan himself so so it is evident mm. that since he is unable mm. to control that amount of persons mm then the one who is giving him the advice mm -hmm. is is fearful yes man. fearful yes. because he satan himself remember that uh revelation chapter 12 mm -hmm. tell us that he came down from heaven with a third one third right, of the angel right, right, right. so if he is fearful mm -hmm. that his vice during on earth which it was fear at that time mm -hmm. could not control the amount of persons who they believe would be on God's side mm -hmm. and they finance having trouble means that they don't have enough 
they don't have <laughs> enough demons or whatever to control because they're working through Satan. Mm. And, and um and when you when you look at the amount of persons in Revelation chapter 15, verse 2, mm -hmm. who are in heaven, mm -hmm. and this is not the entire amount of the persons who were created on this earth, Anthony. Mm -hmm. And if we are told in scripture in the spirit of prophecies that the persons who go to heaven will take the place of the angels, of the angels. then you find you say <laughs> then you could see why you would be so fearful why he would be so fearful yeah um, and that um, is um, an um, that is a very important yeah. point to know yeah. because um yeah because we are going to take the place of yeah. the angels yeah. and at no point in earth's history i think yeah. it was just at adam and eve yes when you had adam and eve yes. cain and abel yeah that you had more righteous than wicked exactly, <laughs> but exactly. every every other scenario yeah. in yeah. earth's history yes. you have the majority yes. of the persons living yes. at the time being evil exactly and so if you are able to mm. from from mm. this small group right get a number that yes. is going to replace the one third right it is always satan's um in satan's best interest right, right. to keep the population at a certain at number. a certain number so that he cannot <laughs> control all right yes. this man dennis made us that we're going yes. to play it again mm -hmm. play another section mm -hmm. at the part two mm -hmm. where he says he mm -hmm. actually tells us mm -hmm. the amount of persons mm -hmm. that is preferably mm -hmm. to be on the earth. Yes. We're going to try to play it again. It's a little bit low, so we're going to try to play this thing again. We are so far, global, you are so far above the population and the consumption levels, which can be supported by this planet, that I know in one way or another it's going to come back down. So I don't hope to avoid that. Uh, I hope that it can occur in a, a, a civil way I, 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 and i mean civil in a killing out the population a, killing out the people yes special way I, peaceful. <laughs> peaceful peace doesn't mean uh that everybody's happy <laughs> but it means that conflict isn't solved through <laughs> violence through so through you going to kill the people if you're not uh, violent <laughs> but rather in other ways and so uh, that's what i hope for mm -hmm. uh, listen this part you know. that we can i mean the planet can support something like a billion people, mm -mm. maybe two billion, depending mm -mm. on how much liberty and how much material consumption you want to, to, to have. If you want more liberty and more consumption, you have to have fewer people. And conversely, you can have more people. I mean, we could even have eight or nine billion probably if we have a very strong dictatorship which is smart <laughs> unfortunately you never have smart dictatorships they're always stupid so but if you had a smart dictatorship and a low standard of living you can have a but it, but we want to have freedom and we want to have a high sentence so we're going to have a billion people and we're now at seven so we have to get back down <laughs> <laughs> I to, this is no, this, this is amazing. No, this is serious. This man. is this serious. Is very serious. Um, so he's uh, uh, all right. So this guy, yeah, Dennis, Dennis um, whatever his name yeah. is, he's not just one of those people and who are. This man is a part of the club of Rome. You know, That's what I'm saying. Rome, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's yeah. he's not one of those guys who live in a cave somewhere that right. is, is sharing an opinion that nobody knows about. Yes, yeah. he's, he's actually part of the the B system. Right. And the B system, because remember the Club of Rome out, um, emerging from the Club of Rome is the World Economic Forum. Exactly. Exactly. That, so. that, that carries out the plans. Yes. And he was saying that when the population of the world was at 7 billion, yes. the ideal target is 1 billion. 1 billion. And um, if, you, if you think about the Georgia Guidestone, the yes. Georgia Guidestone speaks about 500 million. Right. And that was right. written in stone. Um, yeah, that was written in stone. Right, right. So it simply yeah. means that yeah. their target population yeah. is 500 million. Exactly. Uh, Niebert, what I find fascinating is that he wants to call the get rid of the population yes. in a peaceful <laughs> and civilized so, and and um, so this manner. is this is why Bill Gates then Anthony. Mm. This is why Bill Gates said mm. um, says the world today has 6.8 billion people mm. that's headed up to about 9 billion now if we do really a good job on new vaccines mm -hmm. healthcare reproduction health health services we could lower mm -hmm. um 
that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent um and so he really wants the population anthony mm -hmm. to go all the way down which mm -hmm. is what dennis meadows is saying yeah. and and even when dennis meadows says two two billion you know he means he says that man look you must have a dictatorship mm -hmm. that is strong but then a billion the most Mm -hmm. They call 500 million, you know, it's 500 million in one. But they say, well, if we go a billion, then man, it means that your standard of living is going mm -hmm. to be so less. Um, and it's not going to be be at a good standard mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So so the Club of Rome, remember the Club of Rome, Anthony was the one who came up with the with the um with 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 with, with the global analogy, the, the climate change issue. Let mm -hmm. me read it this thing from them. It says their vision as stated in the 1991 publication, mm -hmm. the first global resolution, a report to the, um, to the Club of Rome reads, in searching for a new enemy mm -hmm. to unite us, realizing our goal of world government, we came up with the idea that uh, pollution, the great threat of global warming, water shortages, famine, and the like would fit the bill. Mm -hmm. All these dangers are caused by human intervention, mm -hmm. and it is only through changed attitude and behavior that they can be overcome. The real enemy then is humanity itself. Right, and and if you notice, Nibert, um, we have been using Jamaica as Jamaica as yeah. an example yeah. recently. Last week we spoke about the needs, the um, the the, the national register right. for the. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 <laughs> I can't remember the, the, yeah, the national identification and registration, registration authority. authority. Yes, 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 and 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 we were saying that no Christians, no follower of Christ, yes, should ever have been a part oh, of this see. mark of right. the beast system. Exactly, so. none. And then we saw the bishop as the chairman, and mm. we saw the the Jamaica Umbrella Group of Churches as part of the group and the Jamaica umbrella group of churches because people need to know you know and look back into your organization and ask questions because you cannot allow this darkness to take you over yeah if you are a part of any one of these organization you need to go to the the the, the, the leaders the leadership yeah. and say to them say listen we're not supporting you with your with our tithes and offering mm -hmm. think about this you know that Jesus, when he was on earth, you know it was the tithes and offerings of the Hebrews that destroyed him. Of course. Because the yes. clergy, yes. The, the high priest yes. Caiaphas and his, his cronies, it was the people's tithes and offerings yes. that they put together 30 pieces of silver and give right. Judas. To, <laughs> give you, to know, Judas. you know, Anthony, so um, not, uh, I, I, had, <laughs> I had this conversation yesterday. Yes. Yesterday, we were talking to a group of persons. Mm. And and I was saying that where did that money come from? That, 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 that um that Judas was paid. Yeah. And Judas was paid from the church's coffers. Yeah. And in addition, yeah. yeah. In addition to that, yeah. After the crucifixion yeah. and, the, and 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 Jesus rose, mm. the centurions came and said, "Brother, the man rose up, you know." Exactly. And the same clergy yes. said to him, "Well, the Bible said they gave them large sums." Right. And say so keep on the From the same tithes and, and offering. offering. And and so the, the Jewish uh, the Jews yeah. as a nation yeah. see it, them lose them soul salvation. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, right now they must tell us that Jesus who came as the Messiah is not the Messiah because they must go back go exactly. after Bullock exactly. and Turkle Dog. So then Anthony, if you have a church man apart than Nira right. associated themselves with yeah. this, then anyone the same system. The B system. The B system. So, system. so I, I just wanted yeah. to name the organizations yeah. because they are the ones oh, who yes. put it out in the public. Yes, yes. I want to give you the names of these organizations. Yes. If you are a part of it, you are a part of the B system. Right. I know me says so. He just did it. See yes. there? It says, um, so the, 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 the people who are a part of the umbrella group of churches mm -hmm. um, is the... It, are those who are part of the Jamaica Council of Churches? Yes. The Jamaica Association of Evangelicals. Yes. The Jamaica Full Gospel Churches. Yes. The Jamaica Pentecostal Union Apostolic. Yes. The Jamaica Union of Seventh-day Adventists. 
and the Church of God in Jamaica. If you are part of these organizations, wow. you are a part of the B system. Well, this is comprehensive. Right now. Yeah. This is comprehensive. Right now. This includes you are a part what? of the B system. How almost percent? of christianity this is 94%, 94% of christians in jamaica 94 percent at 2010 and um, this is at, statistics at 2010 <laughs> so, and, and we know <laughs> we know that this amount has increased drastically yes. because for this amount they had the same revenues as had 280,000. Right. and the last time the last time i it's got information 200. yeah it was over 300,000. 300, yes, so yes. so we know that this this figure has gone up um, tremendously, Anthony. Yeah, but I think you need to play that last part of the tape so that people understand why we are calling out these organizations. And if you're a part of it and you're contributing to them, you're contributing to a system that is going to destroy you physically and yes. spiritually because these people are part of the depopulation agenda. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So let me play this one again. Okay. In one way or another, we are so far, globally, we are so far above the population and the consumption levels which can be supported by this planet that I know in one way or another it's going to come back down. So I don't hope to avoid that. I hope that it can occur in a, a, a civil way. I, I, I mean civil in a... Let, let me stop it here for a minute, mm -hmm. Anthony. <clears throat> he says he hope. It, it can occur in a civil way. Mm -hmm. um, how is it that you're going to be calling the population civilly? How can this be done? And who determine who is eradicated from exactly. the society? Because and, and when you say call it, we mean getting rid of the people, kill, killing, killing the people, people. Yeah. murdering yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And, so, <laughs> and so who determine who is destroyed? And and if you look at the example that just transpired in the in the pandemic, yes, um, they targeted the they targeted the elderly, yes, they targeted those who had um you know some sort of comorbidity, um, right. some sort of um illnesses that right. were um you know they targeted the young, yes, they targeted the professionals, yes. They targeted the only people that weren't targeted were the elites. Exactly. Those are the only and, ones. And so the people who are implementing mm -hmm. the culling of the population mm -hmm. are also being called. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the colors are being called. <laughs> no, I mean, think about it, neighbor. The doctors, yeah, the yeah. doctors, the yes. doctors are dying. Yes. Yes. The nurses are dying. At, the teachers yes. are dying. The police yes. are yes. dying. Yes. Whatever so I'm saying. Yes. Every level yes. of the society. So the civil yeah. servants are dying. Yeah. So the people who are implementing the calling. Yeah. The, 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 the seven, the ten billion. The implementers that is of it. Yes. yes. They are also being called. Yeah. And they were tricked into implementing it. Implementing <laughs> it. Enough. And now, yeah. after implementing it. They themselves also had to take it. Yeah. And so they are dying at a tremendous rate. Look, right look now. at this Bible. Look at this yeah. Bible text mm -hmm. about the beast system, mm -hmm. the Antichrist system. Daniel 8 and verse 25. Yes. Look at Daniel 8 25. Daniel 8 25 says, you know, and through his policy, the Antichrist, the mark of the beast system. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper. Oh, my in his goodness. Hand. Yes. Craft and, will prosper. And he shall yes. magnify himself. Yes. In his art. Yes. And by peace. Mm -hmm. Remember the man I said, boy, I'm hopeful. Mm -hmm. it, 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 you kill off the people yeah. in a peaceful manner. Yeah. And by peace, mm -hmm. he shall destroy many. Mm -hmm. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes. Mm -hmm. Means he go up against, go against God. God himself. Yes. But he shall be broken yes. without hands. That's a promise. But that the thing about the mm -hmm. problem with this is, mm -hmm. neighbor, in order for him to destroy you by peace, mm -hmm. it means he has to use the church. Exactly. Remember, the on this church program, has to deceive. Yes. Their people. Yes. Remember on this program, Anthony, we showed where where the men said that the best set of persons they have to yes. choose persons to reach mm -hmm. the, the, the the population. 
the best person to reach the population and and if you're a church man mm -hmm. then you would be more uh you would listen to the preacher right <laughs> right but you would listen to your pastor mm -hmm. and so you get the pastors on his side right, right. And, and the pastors come to answer man take the show on effective poison <laughs> see if an effective yeah, yeah. see if an effective see poison so, so so let us yeah we don't finish and then we we'll play again yeah all right let us play this continue playing this one and it's planned and that i know in one way or another it's going to come back down so i don't hope to avoid that it is you say no it's going um, to come back down you know mm, it's population population it can occur in a piece a, a civil way I, I, civil. I, and i mean civil in a in a Mm. Special way, I, peaceful. Mm -hmm. Peace doesn't mean uh, that everybody's happy, but it means that conflict isn't solved through violence, through <laughs> through force. So you kill them off, but rather in other ways, and so uh, that's what I hope for. Through force. Uh, through force. So, yeah, so that means can, well, I'll deliver it. <laughs> if all right, so he's saying by My peace, goodness, yes, in a civil way. That it not, it doesn't have to occur through violence mm -hmm. or force. Yeah. That means you would have to so deceive the people. Yeah. It's, it's like a Jim Jones situation, you know. Similar. Jim Jones yeah. down a Guyana. You care, you care all of your people them down there and say, right, drink drink poison, man, and I go ahead, man, and I go. Eh? This is mass hypnotism, Anthony. Yeah. They they get the people to just like Jim Jones, mm -hmm. they get the people to to, to participate in their own demise. Their own demise. How is it that you don't think it through? Mm -hmm. You are being you are being murdered. Mm -hmm. You are being called to your own death. So the people who want to murder you tell you to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. And you gladly go and accept suicide. As a, as a as a way out. Never. You yeah. know, um the Bible the Bible told us in the in the Old Testament. And, you know, this is why we have often speak about the Bible, that mm -hmm. um, you cannot accept parts of the Bible right. if you are going to be a follower of Christ. You have to accept the whole thing. The whole thing, yes. Because the Bible, in, in, in the book of Timothy, it says that the whole Bible was inspired. Yes. And so the same spirit, the same Holy Spirit that inspired the New Testament, it's the same one. You don't have a New Testament Holy Spirit and an Old Testament <laughs> Holy one, Spirit. Just one, one Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yes. Um, the, 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 the Old Testament spoke about clean and unclean um, animals. Yes. And it spoke about Genesis 1, 29, the type of food that we should be consuming. When when he spoke about the, calling of the, the killing of the population or depopulation depopulating the earth right mm -hmm. he was saying that he hoped it can be done in a peaceful and um, you know the manner in which you know there's no resistance <laughs> how are you going to do that how are you going to achieve that it has to be also a part of the food system right wonder if i'm saying of course and then people don't understand that is why you know our creator God gave us the type of things that we should be eating at mm -hmm. this time. Yes. You know, um, some of these fast food places that, that people go to um, and that you cannot resist. Yes. You cannot resist. You know, I, I had the opportunity this week, um, the garbage the garbage collectors. Yes. They have the opportunity of collecting certain garbage. Yeah. And so they know that I have a number of dogs. Mm -hmm. And they came to me and said to me that, um, you know, I have some stuff here, man. And and so, you know, we we, we, we got the stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, I gave it to the dogs. And mm -hmm. they're telling you, Bert, it's like, it's like they end up on drugs. Whoa. You see, when feeding time comes, yes. the dog them can't stand still. They're not frenzy. Man. And they okay. say, but this yeah. is what people are eating. That is why the lines at these fast yes. food places are so long. Yeah. And then you wonder, you know, you remember when mm. cigarette used to be the crave? Yes. And people couldn't do without it. And yes. then all of a sudden you find out that they put extra things in it to keep you yes. hooked on, on it. it. Yes. So we need... As 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 children of God, you know there are there there are denomination that doesn't have a health message mm -hmm. for their people. Yeah. 
how, how can you be a Christian? Sorry, how can you be a follower of God without and you don't have a health system. message, yeah. a system of health mm -hmm. to protect your people from mm -hmm. what is what is happening? Yeah. But the, the, the message that God tells us to preach in these last days, Anthony, mm. the, the health mm. message is part and parcel of it. Definitely. So if if you are if you say that you are a follower of Christ and you are not promulgating the health, if you're mm. not teaching and preaching health, mm. it means that you have rejected the, the last message that God has given to you to present to the world for these last days. Mm -hmm. so, so it means if you don't have one. Then man, you are you are not on board with the system that God has set up. And and there's a text that you love to quote, neighbor, mm -hmm. um, in in the book of Corinthians. Um, I think it's is is uh, whatever you eat or drink. Oh, or first Corinthians you, ten thirty one. Yeah. Whether therefore you eat or, or drink, drink or, or whatsoever you do, do, do to the glory, uh, to the glory of yeah, God. Yeah. yeah. And this is so important. Yes. Because think about it now. We we have not paid attention. To the different modalities that these people mm -hmm. have put in place to destroy us. Yeah. We, we have not paid attention. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who control the food system. We mm -hmm. see the ships now running into bridges right. to, to, to mess with the, f the, 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 the supply chain. Yeah, yeah. Supply chain yeah. And so on. Mm -hmm. And we don't understand. We see Bill Gates um, buying up large swaths of land That's right. to produce food. Yes. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine these people in charge of what you eat Whoa. right now I, I don't know about the rice situation in jamaica but yeah. i hear that they are now putting they are, they are now manufacturing some rice that have um protein inside of the rice yeah the vaccine protein you see what i'm yeah, saying yeah. so so um oh, and meat and all these that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and think about those who, who call mm -hmm. themselves vegetarians mm -hmm. and so yeah. on, yeah. plant-based, yes. and you buy rice with meat yes. tonight. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it simply means that not only should the followers of Christ mm -hmm. now start to plant their own stuff, right, right. but you have to be careful yeah. about the things that you buy. buy. Yeah. You see what this I'm saying? so true. Because yeah. the, the, the man is saying, yeah. I have no doubt that the population is coming down. And think about the numbers. Mm. The numbers is critical, mm. you know. Yeah. And, and, and what's the date they have for that? Because they must have a time schedule. Yeah, man, they, 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 have a, yeah. <laughs> they have a time schedule. Because look yeah. at Anthony. Remember, this year is the penultimate year, you know. Mm. This is 2024. This is the year before yeah. 2025. The Jubilee year. And everything must be completed mm. by the Jubilee year 2025. Yeah. Right, right. So we know that their time, the time that they have. Because remember, 2030 mm -hmm. is in their agenda. Mm -hmm. So you have to be ready by, by next year. So this is why everything now is coming to the fore. Mm -hmm. They're putting everything in place to for control. This man is saying that but we have to find a peaceable way, a nice way, so that people can accept death, mm -hmm. accept us killing them without them even quarreling. Mm -hmm. So this is not a world war I'm talking about people going to. <laughs> this, is, this, is, or this is a secret world war. Yeah. A secret <laughs> world war that they getting rid of the population. It's not this public thing. Getting rid of it. So let me quickly. And and, yeah. and so when when um uh was it brother brother Noah yeah. one of them that that spoke about the genocide that is happening over there in in the Middle East. Yeah. The destruction of um the the the, the people there. Right. We we understand now that these wars, um you know they were designed. They were by design, mm -hmm. and, by and, design. And, and, and they have a, a, yes. a, a, a target yes. in mind as to how much they're going to do. Right. Because but, remember, he says that he has no, he knows the population is going to come down. Yeah. So yeah. he's not worried about the, 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 the eight, eight point eight <laughs> billion that's on the earth. He, he says, I know it is going to come down. So I'm not worried about that. It's just the and it's going to be done in a peaceful kind of way where people accept their death. You know? Um, Luke chapter 19. Yes. Bibles. The Bible says, Luke chapter 19, um, verse, verse 40, 41. Because mm. um, it is important that we understand this. Luke 19 verse 40 says, And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, yeah. the stones would immediately cry out. Yeah. 
it, it was a situation where the, the young ones were telling, were calling mm. Jesus. They were saying, and if you look at verse um, 38, they were saying, Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of yes, the Lord. That's right. Peace in heaven and glory in the ice. In the ice yes. And and the Pharisees was mm-hmm. was telling Jesus, don't let them people call yeah. you king. Don't let them <laughs> call you Hosanna. Yeah. But he was saying, if mm-hmm. these should hold their peace, the stones would cry out. Mm-hmm. You notice that the people who are seeing that these these um nids and the the CBDCs, the digital currency, all of these things are the B system. Are people who are not um of the faith. Yes. Oh, yeah. There are really people who are yeah. seeing it. For example, Donald Trump came out in a campaign promise and said that if he is re-elected in 2024, he will not allow the Federal Reserve to, to, to implement a central bank digital currency in the US. Yes. And and, and just to say, Anthony, that um Donald Trump came out and said it, and a number of persons were not even paying attention. Let me know here. Also, <laughs> Anthony, there's a news item that came out. This is what Washington February, Post. Yeah, the Wash from the Washington Post, February 28th. Mm. It says a PFAS chemicals to be phased out of food packaging. Mm. Here's how to avoid them. Now, when you see the PFAS chemicals to be phased out of food packaging, which means that they have been included in food packages Mm -hmm. all over the world. We are talking about, you know, the food wrappers, Mm -hmm. like the the, the people who go and buy burgers Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you buy your burgers, your fries and so on, and all of these these people Mm -hmm. who go and buy. The the wrappers, Mm -hmm. the things that they use to wrap them have a chemical in them that is harmful to our health, Mm -mm. harmful to person's health. Um, companies told the FDA it would take 18 months to exhaust the market supply from the last date of sale. Now, if it's 18 months to exhaust the, the, the market supply mm-hmm. of sales, mm-hmm. now, what would happen to those that are already in the system? Have to use already, it. You, you have to count it. <laughs> and, and it includes pots and pans and all these kind of things mm-hmm. um, that these things are a part of. So 18 months to exhaust... Um, 18 months to exhaust the market supply from the last date of sale of these products, though it is unclear when that would be. So it's 18 months from when. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, forever chemicals um, <clears throat> or, or PFAS mm-hmm. have been implicated in a number of serious health effects, uh, including some cancers, high blood pressure, disruption of the endocrine system and changes in liver function now when i see the disruption of the endocrine system anthony mm. i immediately begin to the, the question that you asked earlier about mm. the multiplication mm. immediately comes in the flow because it is the endocrine system mm. that controls the the multiplication of individual it is the, the testes in the men mm. mm-hmm. and the fallopian tubes in the women okay uh, the endocrine system that controls these things. Mm-hmm. And so we see, how is it that the Israelites were able to multiply it because they were not eating the food, That's eating the, the Egyptian yeah. food. Yeah. They, you notice they went to Goshen. Yeah. They had their own food they're, supply, they're their own system. Mm-hmm. Now, now, God's people, therefore, has to be different yes. also. Yes. Because they, if they, you know, the end, and then the type of cancers that they have, if your endocrine system is not working properly, you're going to forever have cancers and high blood pressures and you're going to just be walk and drop down. <laughs> yes. So that syndrome because it controls how the blood, um, it, it works with your circulatory system mm-hmm. and your reproductive system. Mm-hmm. And so it controls the, the, the disease that affects your body. Right. Um, they, they, whether you... you you know the things that they have up here that your know, person say yeah translate mm. and guide as a lot right. of things right. the iodine thing not right. working right. and and so the disease can just affect your just take like that. over your liver your, 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 mm. your kidney your liver your pancreas if your pancreas is deficient mm-hmm. then you know that you're going to have diabetes mm. your liver not working properly then you know that your blood is you you're, you're mm-hmm. going to have all different types of cancers John these and, and all mm-hmm. kind of things mm-hmm. so so the endocrine system is so important and 
these things that they give affects the endocrine system mm. in the human body, which is which is dangerous, <laughs> extremely. Which means peaceful. that they are set, they are peaceful death. Yes, you are eating yourself to death you with a smile. It. You accept it because it you take your own right. money. Exactly. You take your money and you go to them place and right. buy them. You're smiling. <laughs> you're smiling, Anthony. Yeah, Eat anything. And, oh, what a nice thing this I'm eating. Mm-hmm. So nice. You're smiling to death. Mm-hmm. Peaceful and nice. Yeah. yeah. So so this is what they're actually doing. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the news item from the Washington Post says they PFAS actually sick to our... The, the item is stick mm. to the blood, stick to our blood. Mm. They tend to accumulate in our bodies. Mm. And so it sticks to your blood. And so they say that, man, the, the thing that they, the wrappers and so on that they put these food in. I was in Otrius recently and I stood up near one of the fast food places. Mm. And, and I, and, and it was, it was not even lunchtime. Mm. And, and when I looked, the amount of persons I see going in and out, mm-hmm. and they couldn't stay inside, you know, because inside was packed mm-hmm. to capacity. Mm-hmm. And everybody you see having these, these wrappers. Okay. Yeah. The, these wrappers, the burgers and all these kinds of stuff, they have mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. And they, the thing that they're using to kill people mm-hmm. is, so we're not even talking about the meat, you know, the food. <laughs> right. Because the food is one thing. <laughs> but they say, by support per chance, you miss the food. I'm going to put it in the wrapper. Put it in the wrapper. Put it yeah, in the wrapper. And yeah. this, this one sticks to your blood. Mm. So, so your blood now becomes corrupt. Mm-hmm. And so they, they, there's absolutely no chance for you. Mm. This is this is what is happening. The Washington Post reminds well, us. One other thing, Nibert, is that you know that um, most people, when they're buying these fast food, they say yeah. that they're treating themselves. Yes. It's, it's a treat. <laughs> it's a treat. Treating themselves. So, so, yeah. so they, have, yes. they have been so skillful. Yes. In that they yeah. come up with with, yeah. with these things to destroy us, yeah. and you you think that it's a cheat. You do it, it's something, yeah. it, it's <laughs> something <laughs> that is so. Yeah, man, I tell yeah. you, I, I tell you. And to the our producers are reminding us that we are past our time. Past the time. <laughs> so, but we started a little bit late. Yeah. We had a little bit hiccup. I, I think this is the time we started. So, mm. so, so we're closing out. Now, we want to thank all of you. Those who are on the internet, thank you so very much for joining us. Those on the radio, we always appreciate your company. But what we're looking at now is very, very important. Mm. We have looked at the fact that God has given us a direct command. But the enemy of souls wants to destroy what God has set up. And he wants to destroy God's people. And in destroying God's people, he has put a number of things in place Mm. that we have accepted them as a normal course of life. But once you begin to do the re-examination or the and the and the examination, you realize that you're way off of the system that God has established for us. Let us go back to the primary way that God says that we're supposed to eat or we're supposed to worship or we're supposed to give thanks to him and not commit suicide, not help them, not help these persons to kill us. Mm. Anthony, your final words. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm going back to Luke 19. Yeah. And I'm going to read verse 41 now. Uh, because this verse is so important. It says, And when he was come near, he beheld the city yeah. and wept over it. Yeah. It is interesting to note that um, the city is Jerusalem mm-hmm. and the people who were contained in Jerusalem were Hebrews. They were the chosen people. At the time, and yeah. the Redeemer of the world looked at the city and mm-hmm. wept over it. Wow. Because he recognized that the leaders who were supposed to lead the people to him, mm-hmm. to recognize that he was among them, were leading the people away from him. Wow. And verse yeah. 42 is very telling. Yeah. After he wept, saying, If thou hast known, even though at least in this thy day, mm-hmm. the things which belong to thy peace, mm-hmm. but now they are hid from thine eyes. Wow. One other thing, Nibert, is that um, most people go to church now every Sunday, every Sabbath, right? Yes. People go to church. Um, but the thing is that the system has already entrapped them in terms of um, their health. Yes. Um, because they have a particular time schedule where they need to get rid of um, 
a certain number of the population. Yes. And so while we're there thinking that we're worship, because if you notice the children of Israel, they used to bring their offerings nine o'clock, three o'clock, yeah. twelve o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying the worship all, yes. they were worshiping God yeah. just the same. Yes. While Jesus looked at them at that time. Yeah. Remember it's, it's it mm. was not yet AD thirty one mm. nor AD thirty four. That's right. And he says, Man, I mean yeah. You don't know the things that belong, belong to your, your peace, peace and now it's hid from your eyes yeah. because Satan would have given them things yeah. that would have caused them not to be able to see spiritual yes. things. And yes. then verse 43 says, mm -hmm. For the day shall come mm -hmm. upon thee that thine enemies mm -hmm. shall cast a trench about thee. Whoa, which is what we're seeing now. And yeah. compass thee round yeah. and keep thee in on every side. The NIDS, yes. the, 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 the national, the digital ID system, right. the digital currency system, mm, the, food. the social credit yes. system, everything, yes. the 15-minute the mm -hmm. city, mm -hmm. all of these things are now in place. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Prime Minister says that it is now mm -hmm. in place. Yes. It simply means that those people who are not preparing, who are not watching, yes. you are going to fall to the system. It's yes. not that it's not asked we're asking, yes, we are right. telling you. Yes, exactly. You are going to fall to the system, you yes. are going to be a part of the B system. And um what can I say? Mm -hmm. So we, we wish we had some more time <laughs> that we could, you know, give you some more information. But thank you so very much, Anthony, mm -hmm. for those words that you have given to us. We pray to God that the information that we have given to you tonight would have been enough where you can make intelligent decisions that you're going to follow the Lord with all of your heart. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much for listening. Anthony, could you give us the final word of prayer? A loving Father, we recognize that we are living in a very dark world. We are living in a world that you spoke of that would have occurred just before your coming. Uh, that they would be calling good evil and evil good. And that they would have encouraged the wicked and destroyed the righteous. But we pray, dear Father, that you will keep us. That you will allow your light to continue to shine through us that others may see and give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We pray for your special protection, and we pray, Lord, that, you will rec that we would recognize that it is time for us to repent and turn to you, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Bless us now, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We want to thank you so very much for joining us. We ask that you join us again next week. Same time, same place, so that we can have another discussion on, on end time events and the ways that we can enhance our relationship with God. Thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you.